Hey folks, welcome to BlueWaterHowTo.com. Today we're going to do a quick swordfish float rig. So this is pretty simple. I'm going to use a pool noodle for my float. Uh, so I've got a, a wire puller here. I'll stick through the pool noodle center and stick some. I've got some 200 pound test on here. Doesn't have to be that heavy. Uh, we'll pull that through. Now I've got line running through the middle. I've got some piece of PVC and I just sanded off the edges so they're not real sharp. And I'll slip the, the line through there and put that down in the end of the pool noodle like this. And I do that on the other end as well. And the reason I do that um, is because the, the line will get pulled through the pool noodle and rip the pool noodle if you don't have something in there to protect it. Uh, not the end of the world, but uh, you know, then you gotta make a new float. So we'll put one in each end like that. There we go. Now, on one end we're gonna have a cross lock swivel to attach the uh, float to our line. You can use um, a long line clip, which is great, uh, but I use this a little more disposable. So what I'm gonna do is I'll use some floss and I'll put a floss loop on my main line and this will clip right onto that floss loop at whatever height I want. Say I wanna drop the bait down 200 feet, then I'll, I'll floss the loop on 200 feet up the line and clip this on there and, uh, and my, essentially I've got a big bobber with the bait 200 feet down below it. So uh, I've got just a little, little piece of doweling rod with a hole drilled in it. Uh, it doesn't have to be doweling rod, it can be anything. It can be a bottle cap or whatever, but just something so that the uh, line and the swivel don't pull back up through the, through the bottom of the pool noodle and come out the other end. So there we go, there's our rig on the bottom end. That'll clip onto the floss on our main line. On the other end, what I've got is a bottle. It can be any kind of bottle you want, but what we'll do is we'll take the lid off this, stick a Siulim stick inside and close it up. Uh, and then when this floats on your line, that'll be sticking up like that and the light will be out there in the dark and you'll be able to see where your line is to keep multiple lines out there without getting them tangled. There you go, your big offshore swordfish fishing bobber.